We're cooking in the kitchen and we're not making pasta with <laughs> maple syrup. We're actually cooking with Chef Bob Burke from Pot of Foo. And we're making options for comfort for the people who are going to be losing today. <laughs> 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 and the then joyful things for. for the top five. Yeah. So comfort and joy to celebrate. If you're in the top five, tonight you get home. Somebody should have waiting for you. Yes. A celebration. Celebration food. Well, celebration certainly. food is going to mean a couple of things. First, you got to start with a glass of champagne. Of course. Some bubbly. Now, mm -hmm. because it's not the final, we're not going to go to the ultimate. Okay. okay? All right. This is not the Dom Perignon. We're going to keep that for yeah. the final. <laughs> but there's some sparklers here. Good choices. We got a really nice uh, French sparkler mm -hmm. and called Verve de Vernet. An Italian Prosecco. Okay. Like a beautiful sparkler, light, really refreshing, great mm -hmm. to celebrate with. And then from the West Coast, California Domaine Chandon. So any of these would be good choices for our finalists for to pop five. a cork. And of course, they're going to get lobster and shrimp to celebrate with. Perfect. We're going to put that together into a fun kind of cocktail a little bit later. Yeah. And then for the losers, they've got to go home to something comfort. That's right. And you know, even, you know, you know, St. Thomas Aquinas said that a warm bath and a glass of red wine is, good for, is, is good for sadness. Oh. That's why they made the man a saint. Okay. <laughs> so Brilliant. we're going to use our red wine today, both for a little glass, but to make Coco Vin, Julia Child's recipe. Perfect. It'll be wonderful. Oh, yes, fabulous. And you know, we got a big month in November. We've got some red wine coming up. You've got your George DeBoeuf Beaujolais apron. You're Rockin now it. official. And in just a couple of weeks, we're going to have the Beaujolais Nouveau come, and we'll all be tasting that. So it's kind of red wine month, November. Yeah, it's cold. definitely. Well, we're going to start we'll making the, the comfort part in just the next set. For now, back over to you. Great. We were just having too much fun cooking in the kitchen. We're <laughs> Chef Papa from Pot of Food. We're making comfort and joy. We've now whittled it down to the top five. Look at the you. top five. You're just holding these ever and so daintily. Do you know what we're going to do with this? Since you are the bride, yes. we're going to have you throw the bouquet and see which one of the five catches it to find out who the new Roadshow host is going to be. I think that is brilliant. So All right. Here comes the bride. All right. Let's here see. Here we go. Hurl the bouquet. Let's who, find out. We'll have to find out in December. Yeah, who got it? <laughs> cool. All right. We are almost done browning our chicken. Oh, yeah, Ooh, that yes. looks good. And we're going to put the chicken here. Mm -hmm. Big, heavy cast iron pot. Okay? Perfect. And while I'm doing this, why don't you... Oh, you did such a nice job with the shrimp. Why, thank you. Maybe a little lemon on there. A little and, garnish. Um, we would have put up a little parsley on it, but, um, um, but I just that was it. your bouquet. Okay. <laughs> And now what we want to do is make a little secret sauce for the lobster. Okay. So this is a little mayo, a touch of mustard, and a bit of lemon juice. Here's your fork. Uh -huh. Just pour the lemon juice. We're going to put just a tiny bit in. And we mayo, may add mustard, a little bit lemon more. juice. And whisk that all together. It makes oh, the most mess. amazing, wonderful secret sauce. Not so secret anymore. Not I guess. so secret, it's all but that's really simple. Southern and I New like England that. knows about it. And now I'm going to take the slimy eyeballs, also known as pearl onions. <laughs> okay. This is the one thing you can cheat on with the recipe. Good. If you need to, buy them frozen at the store. Okay, because yeah. peeling these things is so yeah, difficult. Yeah, I saw you doing it this morning. It was but, quite difficult. Yeah, and we're just going to want to brown them up, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to put them in the bacon grease, and we're going to want to brown up our mushrooms. I love mushrooms. So we're going to put them in the bacon grease, and then I think it's time to stop for a little snack bacon. Again, of course. One more snack bacon. Mm. And then we put the bacon in. With the chicken. With the chicken. Not okay. the paper towel, though. We're going to leave the paper towel out, okay? <laughs> and we're going to just arrange that a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then... The red wine. The yes. red wine is what tenderizes the chicken, gives it flavor. So go ahead and start pouring that in. How much should I be pouring okay. in? Pour it all in. Oh. You want a lot of red wine in of there. Of course. Yep. So you want to use cheap red wine. Okay. Yeah. Don't be wasting the good cheap stuff. Red That's wine for you to drink good. with the chicken. Here we go. Okay. Nice. And then um, we had some chicken stock. There it is. There you go. Oh. Chicken stock. Pour Add the chicken too. stock into the chicken. Excellent. And now we're going to add a bay leaf, which right. you have over there. Yes, I do just one. Throw the bay leaf in. Always remember, count the bay leaves in, count the bay leaves out. Yeah. You've got to take out as many as you put in. I need a little time. <laughs> a little more time? Okay. <laughs> All of and it. Yeah, we can just put that in. Just, yep. Beautifully done. Oh you strip feet? the time so beautifully. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Uh, Except uh -oh. for that piece. Yep, yep. Get the stems that out. Piece. Okay. That's good. <laughs> and you know, you put more or less of this in depending on how aromatic it is. And this is really That's good. Yeah, yeah. It's got a nice aroma to it. 
And now, bizarrely, and I never could figure out why Julia called for this, we're going to put in a good sized spoonful of tomato paste. Really? Yeah, I think it helps with the thickening. Okay. I'm going to put a little fire under this. Okay, and, is that um, a good spoonful? I mean, that's pretty generous. Go. Yeah, that's good. Stir okay. it in. Yeah, that's it. Mix it in there nicely. That's beautiful. That's that's Ooh. enough because it will I'm just making a mess. it's going to dissolve. And now, um, while I get the um, the onions and mushrooms kind of finished off, mm -hmm. why don't you do the lobster? I'm going to show you a great way to take lobster out of the sh out of the tail. Okay. A lot of people don't know this little trick. You just break off the center fin. Completely break it off. Put your finger in okay. and just push it out. All right. So Completely you can see. break off the center fin. Yeah. And then just. Push it out with your finger. Oh my god! Isn't that the easiest thing in the world? Yeah, it's pretty alien-like. That was awesome. a lot easier than what I do. Exactly. Now we have to quickly so put now, this one together. And I'm gonna, yeah, here. You know what? I think it'd be nicer maybe if we just kind of cut this in half okay. so you can make a couple of rings of it. Yeah. And maybe put those in the glass. That's gonna go right here in the glass. In the glass, and then I will whack the back of awesome. the. Um, of this, and then you just pop those open. You don't need awesome. all those tongs. And we'll be putting so this on top, but in. now we have to yep. head on back. Okay, and, and I'm just going to get the garlic ready. We're whacking things we and smash eating. smash the garlic. Enjoy. And that's how we're going to get the peel off the garlic. You just whack Perfect. it. Perfect. Beautiful. You put that in all here. All right, well, we're heading back out to Pack <laughs> and Bob and I are going to stay in this kitchen with